you guys welcome back to my channel today we are diving into the kitchen I need to get everything prepped and ready um, for Christmas dinner but before I do that I really need a little bit of organizational peace in my kitchen before I can go forward <laughs> you'll see what I mean in a second I have done really well the past I guess it's been two years now really since I um, maybe it's been a year I can't remember since I reorganized my pantry and it's been great it's been super functional everything's been great but the past two months with all of the decorating and just the cake orders and cookie orders and just all of the things that have just you know it's just been like back to back to back to back I've gotten a little lazy when we get back from getting groceries and stuff and I've kind of just thrown stuff in which is not a good thing, obviously. So, yeah, we're gonna, we're just, we're just gonna dive in head first and we're gonna get this pantry cleaned up and then we're gonna move over to the refrigerator. So let's get started. kept finding duplicates of things and of course this is what happens when your pantry is not organized you have a tendency to overbuy and then you clean out your pantry and then all of a sudden you have way more than what you need I had another baking powder <laughs> I just couldn't remember where I put it two or three months ago <laughs> This set of drawers on the right is usually where I keep light drink mixes like hot chocolate, apple cider, things like that. But we had acquired a lot and hadn't gone through everything and of course it had expired. And then the second and third drawers are where I keep things when I make a cake. So for example, I had made a cake that had all kinds of uh, candies and things all over it. So when I buy something specifically for a cake I will put it in this drawer however I haven't needed 
any more candy or anything for a cake so it had kind of gone forgotten about First, I was really overwhelmed with starting to restock the pantry with everything and then I thought you know what there's a fair amount of tubs that aren't really dirty or even need organizing they just need to be put back where they belong now so you know I just sort of started with what I knew I knew where all of my canisters went I knew where my oatmeal bin went my syrup bin you know things like that um, they didn't need to be cleaned out because they just literally only hold what they hold um, specifically like uh, the specific items and they weren't dirty so I started there and then I moved over to the island to start sorting through all that uh, there is over here and oh we had so many duplicates of things it was just it was insane the amount of pretzels for example that we had that were uh, duplicates and then of course we had a mountain of goldfish that were duplicates and yeah so normally this isn't an issue but when the pantry doesn't stay organized then you have a tendency to overbuy and then you know once you do start to organize it's like okay <laughs> now i have 19 of this thing and 20 of this you know what do i do with it all so um all of the extras i just ended up putting in the bottom chip drawer for now because you know we definitely don't need <laughs> any more for a while We still have a little bit of restocking that needs to be done, but we are actually going to the store today. Well, I say today, it is the next day. Um, but we have to go to the store and there's still a few things that I need to pick up so that I can restock some of the bins that are in there. But for the most part, I was able to restock all of uh, the canisters and everything with what um, I already had, which was nice.
deciding to go ahead and relocate the plastic, the plastic wrap and the aluminum foil just to kind of open the shelf up and give me more room for Tupperware because the Tupperware had kind of gotten, well, it had just gotten way out of control. And it's mainly because there wasn't a big enough um, space there to keep it organized. So um, basically um, I move that out of the way and then I just slide everything over so it just everything has a little bit more room to breathe. It feels so good and so relaxing and calming to see my pantry back to zero again where everything is just peaceful it's back in its place everything is organized yeah now I can relax a little. <laughs> got a little ambitious because the pantry is the only thing that I've done so far and it's 308 and I have to go pick up um, Scotland in like 40 minutes and I still have a couple of things that I need to do uh, well for one I need to get ready um, because as soon as I pick Scotland up we're going to go get my nephew and then we are going to the Polar Express tonight so stay tuned because that will be coming up in another vlog. We'll also be continuing with Christmas prep by finishing cleaning um, the whole kitchen area, the, um, the refrigerator, things like that, because, you know, it's kind of hard to have a really organized and productive thanks or not Thanksgiving, but Christmas dinner when everything is a mess. So we got a good start. Pantry's looking good again. Um, you would not believe how much stuff I have gotten rid of. Actually, I'll show you real fast. I got rid of a lot of stuff. I didn't realize how much um, expired products that I had which I hate, but at the same time, can't keep them. So it's okay. We're starting over. Blank slate, we're good. I will go through the comments and see what everyone is saying. I know um, a few people have posted preferences already, but I haven't um, looked to see how many of each one there were so far. So anyway, I'm gonna go for now. I have to go get ready and we will see you again tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.